Introducing first, it's Katie Taylor, perhaps the greatest athlete Ireland has ever produced. Delphine Pursue. This Belgian has really been turning heads since she burst onto the professional scene. This is going to be one hell of a fight. And with that, we turn it over to the world-renowned ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Bray, Ireland. She became the eighth boxer in history to hold all four world titles, a two-division world champion, and an undisputed women's lightweight champion of the world, simply the best, Katie Taylor. Fighting out of the blue corner, fighting out of Belgium, and ranked as one of the best female lightweight boxers in Ring Magazine, here is a women's lightweight champion of the world, Delphine Persoon. A lot of pre-match drama, and they will settle their score under the sun here in this outdoor venue. Todd, a beautiful day, but it's going to be somebody's nightmare and somebody's happy now. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? Punch, counter punch. Nice punch. Good one. That left counter was perfectly timed. No rest for the weary. In their first two contests, Delphine Pursue tried to bully Katie Taylor around and had some success. Taylor needs to watch out. Delphine Pursue and Katie Taylor, that was a questionable, wicked fight. You saw size to Katie Taylor that you were worried about. Can you can't detail, really? Well, you got this in the bag, but Bassoon was persistent. She was dogged, she was on the case and wouldn't let it go. What a fight. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Left hook just missed. Another scoring shot there. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. And there's the bell to start round two. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. How will these two fighters handle the outdoors? We're fighting under the sun here for this big showdown. This is taking boxing back to its roots outside where you've got the crowd there. You can hear everything. You've got the breeze of the wind. You've got the heat of the sun. You know when you're doing this? Your feet are on fire today. They're on fire in the wind. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Oh, that punch.
Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. She got out of the way of that right hook. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Shot with the left. He throws the jab, but it doesn't score. That left scores. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance, without a doubt, Meg looks so, so easy. Let's On to the third. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Caution is being thrown to the wind. No rest for the weary. Through the hook, it didn't land. Right punch. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. One punch could change everything in this battle. A swarmer, a good swarmer, will get inside you like a bee. Like a bee just picked up and sting you wherever you leave yourself open. A swarmer is the worst kind of fight to fight. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing so much for deep. And they're down just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Ladies and gentlemen, a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Accuracy, power, punch perfect. That must hurt.